What's up, everybody? This is Alex with WMD back at you again, and this time we're going to be talking about Volterra. Volterra is a CV expander for our trigger and gate sequencer Metron, and Volterra gives you four independent CV lanes on top of your triggers and gates in 4 HP. You can add up to 16 Volterras to one Metron, giving you 64 CV lanes on top of all your trigger and gates. What we're going to do in this video is we're just going to run through how to set up your Volteras, how to connect them to Metron and get them in your case, and then we're going to go through some basic sequencing just to get you up and running. As you see here, I have a Metron and three Volteras. We're going to go through how to set up one Volterra, two Volteras, and, uh, and three, and then when we go through our sequencing, we're going to use three Volteras on top of our Metron. So if we turn Metron over, You'll notice these terminators on top of these headers. We're just going to remove those right now. Put them somewhere safe as they are very important. And then we're going to take our Volterra and you'll notice that it has one terminator on it. We're just going to take that off right now as well. And we're going to take this six inch ribbon cable and we're just going to go red stripe to the dot on the back of your PCB here. And then we're going to put the red stripe to the dot on Volterra. Now these terminators, we want to close off any extra open terminator here. So we're just going to put that one on that header and then we're going to take this guy and we're going to put it on this one. Now if we were just setting up one Volterra, this is where we'd stop. We'd plug both units into power, install them in our case and we'd be ready to go. But since we're going to do some more Volterras, I'm going to take this terminator off again and I'm going to grab my second Volterra and one of these small little 8-pin cables and again red stripe to the dot and I can connect two Volterras to each other right next to each other. Now if we're just doing two, again we want to close off that open header with that terminator. So I'm going to add a third Volterra, but I want this one to go on the other side of my Metron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off the Terminator on this side, and I'm going to take one of our longer cables, again, red stripe to the dot. I'm going to take my third Volterra, and I'm just going to leave that Terminator on there, and I'm going to plug this one red stripe to the dot. So now after I plug all three of these into power, we're good to flip it over and install it in our case. One quick note is to make sure you keep these terminators and these and your extra cables as if you decide to get more, more Volterras or you want to downsize, you're going to need those uh, extra terminators to close off the empty pens. In order to ensure that your Volterras and your Metron are going to speak to each other properly, you need to ensure that the red stripe of your ribbon cable is to the dot on the PCB and that any empty header is covered with one of the Terminator jumpers here. All right, so now we are ready to plug these into power. All, th all four units will need power, so I'm going to take our 16-pin cables and I'm going to plug them into here, and uh, then I'm going to install them in our case, and then we're going to get sequencing. All right, so now I've got everything plugged into my case. I've got it plugged into power, and um, we're ready to go here, so I'm just going to turn it on. And you'll see that the Volterras kind of run through a little progress thing and then they snap to action. The first time you plug in your Volterras, you will need to update your firmware. And um, this is the, I believe it's going to be 1.3 firmware. And you'll see the Volterras run through the cycle like they did. It will take a little bit longer and there will be a little progress bar showing you where they're at. And then when everything's updated and ready to go, you're just going to see a dim light on the select button and then all the other but all the other LEDs are going to be off. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a quick little baseline and I'm going to show you how to do some simple things with Volterra and uh, just get into the workflow and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a quick little subtractive voice. I'm just going to take my spectrum square wave and I'm going to run it into the pole zero, into the ADSR VCA, and then I'm going to run that out into my mixer. I'm going to take the envelope from my ADSR VCA, plug that into the FM input on my pole zero. And then I'm going to take output one of my first Volterra here, and I'm just going to run it into the volt proactive input. If you only have one Volterra, 
that's totally fine. Uh, it's the exact same workflow. Each one is completely independent. So if you only have one, just pretend like I only have one right now, but we're gonna go through and we're gonna do a couple different things with my multiple setup here. And now I'm just gonna take output number 16, or we'll take output number 13, and we're gonna run that into the gate input of my ADSR VCA. And now if I go to channel 13 and run some gates, we should be able to hear our voice. All right, so there's our voice. That's what we've got going on. I'm just gonna mute this while I explain a couple more things. So each output of Volterra can have a different voltage range and quantization setting. Each Volterra and each output on its own Volterra on itself can have um, a different voltage range. So how you change that is you go into the global mode and then you just turn the knob of the output you wanna change. So right here you can see I am going through here. We've got negative five volts to five to positive five volts, zero to five volts. Those are both unquantized, negative one to one. And then we've got zero to five quantized. That's what that Q in the middle refers to. Negative five to five, negative one to one. And then up here, this is the user scale. So I'm gonna set up a user scale for our um, demonstration right now. You can see down here, this is basically a keyboard setup right here. I've got the white notes on the bottom and the uh, black notes on the top. And then the LEDs up here are our voltage ranges. And so how this works is each button is its own range. So this is zero to one volts, one to two volts, uh, three to four, and then, uh, or two to three, three to four, and then four to five. Again, on the negative side, we just go zero to negative one, uh, one to negative two, and so on. So if we want to just do a zero to one volt range, we just press the zero to one volt button. If we want to do a range that's wider than that, we just hold the bottom range and then press the top range. So I'm gonna go a two octave range. I'm just gonna hit the zero to one, and then I'm going to hit uh, the one to two, and now I've got a zero to two volt range. I can go negative one to five, negative five to five. I can just go zero to five. For this one, let's do a three volt range. So I'm gonna go zero to three volts. And now on the bottom here of our user scale, you can see that we're just chromatic right now. I'm just gonna turn off all the black notes so we'll have a C major scale. I'm gonna go out of global and uh, we'll start sequencing. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring up our gate pattern again. And remember that the voltage outputs are all um, independent of gates. It doesn't matter where you put voltages. Um, they're not tied to the gates, but a real good way to stick to the gates is just look at what your gate pattern is. And then how we're gonna sequence with Volterra is we're just gonna hold the step that we want to change. It doesn't matter which um, track you hold here. It's all about the knobs. So if I hold a step and turn knob one, we're gonna be affecting channel one on that Volterra. If we hold a step and hold uh, and change knob three, we're gonna change that um, channel on that Volterra. So I'm gonna go through here and I'm just gonna make a quick little sequence. All right, so there we go. So what I was doing there is I was just holding the step that I wanted to change and then just turning the knob. You can see on the current step window what note you're selecting and what octave it's gonna be on. And you can hear right now that we're still hearing the sequence and we're only hearing the step change when the sequence gets around to it. If we wanna audition or hear what we're doing in real time, while we're holding the step, we can hit the Volterra select button and now we have a hard takeover of this knob. So now we can hear exactly what we're doing. If I go over here, hit Volterra's knob again, we can hear that guy. I want it to be that note. When I let go, we hear the sequence again. So let's go through and let's change up the scale. So I'm gonna go back here and right now we've got the uh, C major scale, but let's do a minor scale. So we're gonna go C, D, and we're gonna do E flat, and we're gonna turn off E, we're gonna have F, G, we'll turn off A and B, and we'll turn on A flat and B flat. 
And as you can hear, we haven't changed the notes because this is an input quantization. So what's happening is that we're quantizing the knob. So we're, we're actually quantizing the input. So when you change the scale, you're not going to change anything that you've written. So if you want to write something in one scale, you can do that. And then if you just need to add an extra note to add an incidental or an accidental in there, you can do that. So we'll go through here and uh, we'll just change up some of our notes. And this is a soft takeover. So if I turn this knob, you'll notice nothing's happening until I reach C0. And then I can change that note. And now that sounds kind of weird because we're mixing the major and minor scales. So I just want to clear out my voltage range. So now this is what we call the turn gesture. Basically to perform any function on Metron, and if you only want it to happen to a Volterra track, then you're just gonna hold the function you wanna have happen, and then you're just gonna turn the knob to the top and, and back down. So if we wanna clear something out, we're just gonna hold clear, turn this knob all the way to the top and back down. That cleared out our voltages. So now we can make a new sequence here. All right, there's our sequence. All right, so like I said, if I wanna duplicate this, let's just say I wanna duplicate this track to the next one. Just hold duplicate and perform our turn gesture. So I'm gonna go to the top, that copied our channel one, and I'm just gonna paste it on channel two. Now you can see that this LED is flashing in the same way. Obviously nothing is plugged into it, but that is how you're gonna duplicate things. If you wanna change the pattern length, it's the exact same function. You just hold pattern length, turn the knob, and now this displays Volterra's tracks where the uh, voltages are changing. And you can see that I've got voltages written on both channels here, and I want my channel one to be 11 steps, so I'm just gonna hit the last step there, and now that is resetting at step 11. Now when we let go, we're gonna go back to the display of Metron, and you can see that my gate pattern is still 16 steps long, because again, it is independent of the uh, Volterra track. So let's go back into the Volterra here. Let's change that back to 11 steps, or 16 steps, excuse me. We'll reset everything, and we'll go through and we'll look, and we've got everything back in sync here. And now everything performs just as you would expect. If you do any sort of function on Metron that's a global function, it's gonna take over Volterra as well. So let's just duplicate A, put it on B, and go listen to B. We've got the same voltages here. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna clear my uh, knob number two there, just cause that doesn't need to be happening. And we've got that going. So you can do duplicates, clears, you can even nudge your voltages. So you can go over here, turn that, and now just like normal nudges, we can nudge over where the voltages are changing. And then again, with pattern length, we can go out here, we could say I want it to be, this one to be two pages long. So I'm just gonna select that channel by turning the knob up to the top again, press the end, and now we're just gonna get uh, blanks on channel, or on uh, page two. So I'm just gonna move some of those steps around. we've got that sequence. It's a two page long sequence. Again, our gate length is just 16 steps, but our voltage lane is a full 32. So I'm going to go back. I'm just going to hit pattern length and page one, and that will lock Volterra back into its 16 step pattern. And now we're rolling with just 16 steps again. If at any time you wanna see what's going on with Volterra, where your voltages are changing, you can just hold the select button, and then we have channels one through four on Volterra displayed on Metron's page here again, and we can just see where the voltages are changing. We can turn certain steps off. If, if there's voltages there that we wanna delete, we can just do it that way. Also, if just to delete something, we can hold clear, hit that, knob up to the top again, and that will clear it out. 
So the turn gesture is very important with Volterra. If you want to select a track or do anything with a track, that's how you do it. You're basically pushing a button when you turn the knob all the way to the top. All right, so let's make a baseline again. I'm just going to make a new gate pattern. And we'll make this. And now you can hear that I have voltages changing at the end here where I don't have gates, right? And if I pull out my uh, envelope, you'll hear them. If I shorten it up, you won't hear those. So let me put a gate there. Now we can hear each one. So next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make some drums happen. So I'm gonna make a kick drum here. We'll just get this guy going. And now I'm going to do a clap. So I'm going to take my fracture, plug that into my mixer, I'm use channel three of Metron, do some two and fours, turn the channel up. Now we're hearing those claps. So now I'm going to do parameter sequencing. I'm going to use this second Volterra because it's there. And I'm going to take output number one, and I'm going to plug it into the decay input on Fracture. And now I'm going to do that hard takeover again. So I'm just going to hold the step I want to change. I'm going to hit the select on the second Volterra. And now as I turn this knob, we're changing up the decay. So I'm going to make my uh, first clap a little bit longer than the second. All right, so now I'm gonna add some ticks here. So I'm just gonna do a 16th notes across and I'm gonna run that channel into the tick of Fracture. And I'm gonna go out of Volterra channel number two into the, the surface input on Fracture. And I'm just gonna record some voltages. So to record voltages, we just hit record and now we're record enabled. And now we can just turn the knob and we're going to actually record um, CV, just we're going to uh, record our knob movements. Turn record off. Now that's in there. Again, we want to go see the voltages that we've changed. We can go through here. We can see I have voltages changing on every step. So I'm just going to take some of these off. So let's do channel three out of this Volterra and we'll run it into the decay on Crater. So this is channel three. Again, it doesn't matter what track you're hitting. You just got to hit a step. So I'm just going to hit step one and change up the decay here. And I'm going to go long, short, long, short. Alright, so this knob, I had, a, I had a user scale on it, so I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to change this knob to be negative 1 to 1 volt. And I'm going to clear it real quick, hold clear, do my turn gesture, and then I'm going to do this again. So I'll do the hard takeover of the knob. And there we go. So now I'm just going to take this last output of Volterra and I'm going to run it into the volt per octave of my crater. So for this one, I want this just to be one note, but I want to be able to go up octaves. So I'm going to hit global again, turn this knob to the user scale, and I'm going to turn off every note but C. And if the button is flashing, that means that it is enabled. And then I'm just going to go zero all the way up to five volts. And then let's just make our decays much longer here again. All right, and then I'm gonna go this guy, octave zero, up two octaves, and then up one.
right, so I hope that helps you get started with Volterra. Um, we're going to be doing lots more of these videos, so definitely stay tuned. We're going to do more deep dives into just simple features, but I figured I would just make one quick little tutorial um, just to get you started. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and uh, thanks for picking up a Volterra and a Metron combo. If you haven't done that yet, I highly encourage it. It is a super, super fun way to sequence, and um, yeah, we're just honestly ultra proud of it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.